Hey guys, today we're starting with multiplying fractions, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. So the first step that we're going to take a look at is the same thing that we started off with, what multiplication really is. It's repeated addition. So for this problem, yeah, I could do four groups of two-thirds. So that would be two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. Okay, that's four groups of two-thirds. That's the repeated addition. Now, if we remember from before when we were adding and subtracting with our fractions, we're only adding the numerators, okay? And the reason for that is because the denominator tells you the size of the piece. The size of the piece is not changing. The only thing we're getting is we're getting four groups of this two-thirds. So I have two-thirds, 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 two-thirds. When I add all those up, I'll have two, four, six, eight. I'll have eight-thirds, which what we've been practicing for the last week or so is making sure we simplify it so it more, makes more sense. Eight being divided by three. Three goes into eight two full times, which makes six. So if I take six away to make that two units, that would leave me still two-thirds. So when we look at two-thirds times four, we would end up with eight and thirds or two and two-thirds. That's one way we could do this problem. Now, the other thing we could take a look at is just doing it straight from some form of an algorithm. Now, we worked on this previously, and some of us forget and some of us can't stay with it. So when we take a look, two-thirds times four. Now, when we look at doing this multiplication, one thing that I notice is that my original answer for this was eight thirds. So the thirds remain the same and two times four does make eight. So when we're multiplying a fraction times a whole number, it looks like a quick and easy shortcut would be multiply my numerator times the whole the amount of times I'm doing it. So two times four is eight and my denominator remains the same which makes sense because with repeated addition, the only part that changes is the numerator. So that's the part I was doing the repeated addition for. The denominator did not change. All right, let's give it one more shot, make sure that this actually holds true. So I have four fifths times six. So that means I want six groups of four fifths or four fifths of a group of six, but that sounds much harder. So four fifths, six times one, two, three, four, five, six times. All right, so now we're adding these together. That's what repeated addition is. So take a look. Our denominator should remain the same. It should stay fifths because the size of the piece doesn't change. Now I have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So I end up with 24 fifths, which I can then simplify down, but that's not the point of this video. Now, we said what we really could do is the shortcut method of 4 fifths times 6. And we said all you really need to do is multiply by the numerator because that's what you're getting 6 groups of. The denominator is just telling you the size of the pieces. That's not changing. 4 times 6 is 24, and the denominator doesn't change. 24 fifths. So that shortcut method does seem to hold true. But now we can see why it holds true. Okay. You multiply the whole number times the numerator because that's what's getting added up repeatedly. All right, hopefully that'll help you with today's work.